discussion over a proposed pipeline heated up in oil country today. Labor union groups voiced their concerns over Bridger Pipeline's application to build a 15-mile crude oil line near Belfield at a Public Service Commission meeting. No landowners testified at today's hearing, but the voices of several unions were loud and clear. Many workers representing those unions accused the Bridger Pipeline of having a spotty track record. This is the same company that earlier this year was responsible for 30,000 gallons of crude oil leaking into the Yellowstone River and contaminating the drinking water for Glendive, Montana. However, a great deal of the testimony and some of the evidence provided by union workers were considered hearsay or irrelevant to the case and were not added to the record. We want them, the reclamation to be done right. We want them to be done safely. And uh, the company that's putting this line in has a history of not doing that. And we got our, I think we got our point across today that if they're going to do work in North Dakota, um, we want it done the right way. The company will need to provide more information to the commission, like the worst case scenario in case of a leak, as well as the company's track record with spills and how it ranks with other pipeline companies. The company says it's still waiting on a permit from the Corps of Engineers, as well as the U.S. Forest Service, but it expects to receive those in the next few days. Commissioners will review the testimony and other documents before making a decision. Mary-Kate Mannion will have more for us tonight at 10.